Hi guys, welcome back to another ride. Uh, I was a little down yesterday because uh, I wasn't getting my car back for another week, my Model Y, but the Loner Model 3 actually got an update overnight to 12.5.1.5, and uh, it's a hardware 3 car. So we're going to go for a ride and test it out. Let's go. Accelerating quite fast to this speed bump. Oh my gosh. Oh, just took that speed bump at 25 miles an hour. Did not even attempt to slow down. We are on hardware three, version 12.5.1.5. Good quick turn on the stop sign there. Wow, did not slow down for that speed bump at all downhill. But it is slowing down for this speed bump too decent speed six miles an hour that's very comfortable Coming up to, there's a stop sign over here it does respect the stop sign it comes to a stop it comes to many stops and then moves through All right, a little jumpy for sure definitely not as smooth as the hardware for why? Okay, coming up to our first stop sign here. So the hardware four version. We got somebody coming from the left. We are closely rolling. All right. still having the speed limit issue we came from a 15 mile an hour road this is a 35 mile an hour road and it's picking it up as a 15 mile an hour road so it still has that issue with the speed limit i wanted to push the car to the appropriate speed here let's see if i uh i'm just gonna wait till this turn's done and i'll look off the accelerator and see if it'll dump the speed or if it'll keep 32. It doesn't dump the speed too bad. It does slow down, but it doesn't dump the speed like hardware four. Should pick up this 35 mile an hour sign. Good, slowing down for the railroad tracks. It's very comfortable, a little bit too slow. But we did it around 15, 16 miles an hour. Uh, hardware five does it around 20. Speed over the railroad tracks. And we are doing our drive to the grocery store because uh, hardware five uh, hardware four is having issues with the exit for the grocery store so I want to test it out on hardware three this new version and uh, I do have a cabin camera in this model three so there's no more steering wheel nag which is awesome it's been uh, tough going back to the steering wheel nag on the uh, 12.3.6 but I'm so glad that it's gone now. I've had to drive it for like two weeks and uh, basically my commute is about 30 minutes and there's like 19 nags each way to touch the steering wheel versus not having to touch the steering wheel at all, which feels amazing. In that aspect, it's very similar to hardware four. The stopping is also very similar to Hardware 4, very smooth. And it's definitely way smoother than 12.3.6. Okay, perfect. Right, we're probably going to pass this truck when we get going. I'm just going to mess up our, uh, our test here. It's usually when trucks are going really slow. Wow, we are really getting on this truck's booty here. Jesus, what is happening? This is definitely not enough space. Very uncomfortable, way too close to this truck. It is not passing the truck though. It's waiting for it to speed up. The truck still has his blinker on. The blinker's not being recognized on the, uh, on the model here. 
and is very unsure about changing lanes here. It tried to change lanes and then it went back. It did pass it. Okay, so that forced us to pre-stage into this left lane for the exit here. So that's unfortunate. But that was uh, very uncomfortable. We were way too close to that truck. And uh, it was trying to like pass it on the right, on the shoulder. It's just a questionable situation here. Oh wow, the map is routing us in a different direction here. So normally we take this exit here to go to ShopRite, but the map has changed to go straight. It did pick the right ShopRite. So, very interesting here. Okay. Looks like it's going to try to take this exit over here. And is it going to miss it? It's going to miss it. Yeah, it was supposed to take this exit right here. And, oh gosh, it missed the exit. It switched into this right lane. So there's still issues with pre-staging for exits properly. That, you know, there's no traffic around us. There's not a lot of cars. So there's no reason why it should be missing these exits. There's just a staging problem. And it's the same one that existed in the uh, hardware 4, 12.5.1.3. All right, we're gonna do a U-turn here. This is definitely a long way around because we should have just took that exit as we always do. And uh, we would have been at the store already. So we are definitely on the struggle bus here. So in order for us to take this U-turn, we do have to pre-stage in the left lane. And it looks like it's trying to move over to do that. Okay, good. Did confuse the car behind us. She went to move over because we were going too slow. And then she, the lady had to pop back in into the other right. Really heartbreaking here for this U-turn. Wow. Like, and it stopped in the middle of the lane here. It should be closer to the right. Aggressive acceleration. Definitely an uncomfortable ride so far. In order for us to take our exit for the store, we do have to move over to the right. And uh, once we get there, I'm going to check the... Uh, settings to make sure it did not reset from chill. We are moving over to the right lane here, pre-staging for the turn for this shop, right? It's a rough acceler deceleration here, but it's coming to a comfortable stop. Good pickup here. Yeah, this is definitely not as smooth as uh, Hardware 4 for sure. I have taken that U-turn in Hardware 4. It did have a, a rougher slowdown, but it kept to the right of the lane, uh, of, of the right of the U-turn, and uh, it did slow down a little bit smoother. I was unsure about these lane markings here. It thinks it needs to go into the left lane, but the left lane turn only was for the bank there. So it's driving very erratic on this version for sure. And it's definitely not the same experience as hardware for it. All right, we are pulling up to the front of the store. I'm gonna let it try to park us. That's my infamous test on all these, uh, all these versions. It is unsure about this turn here. Got lots of pedestrians. Wow. It is stopping so close to these pedestrians. It looks like it's looking for a parking spot. Wow, okay. Here we go. Sorry. Driving right into the pedestrian. This this is the chosen parking spot. Wow. Jesus. This is definitely not good. Oh man, it is the roughest experience I've had in the parking lot yet. Very unsure on this turn here. A lot of adjustments with the wheel. Yeah, 
I'm like super nervous on this version, honestly. It's, I don't know if it's, you know, I don't know what it's gonna do next. I don't think Ed knows what it's gonna do next. <sighs> yeah, um, I know I was excited for you guys to try out this version on the Hardware 3, but it is definitely not the same as Hardware 4. Um, I know I told you it was worth the wait, but it is uh, definitely scarier than the uh, Hardware 4 version for sure. It's definitely driving a lot rougher. I'm going to take over at this point and uh, change our route to uh, head back home. And uh, let me see here, I'll find a safe place to pull over. A few moments later. Um, I did check all the settings. Everything is set to chill. I'm gonna try another drive here from the store back to the house and see how it goes. Cause that was a very rough ride basically to the store. So let's see how it does on the way back. Wow, it takes off as soon as I click the button. That was, that was very quick. There's a lot of hesitation on hardware, on hardware four. This hardware three just jumps the gun. The second we start moving. Okay, good stop sign here behind the vehicle. This guy to go in front of us. So if you missed the trip to the store, definitely check it out because it was definitely a rough ride. Now let's see how it does on the way back. We do have our own lane here. We should be able to get up to speed and move over to the left. It keeps a really this uh, hardware three version keeps a really close distance to the vehicles ahead and uh it did move over to the far left lane which is very good that's all it expected to do it's keeping a good speed limit 60 and a 55 so uh, it's very assertive it still has a little bit of a hesitation when it's changing lanes and like thinks about changing lanes and then it doesn't do it but then eventually it moves over like a split second later so there's still a feeling of a bit of a hesitation, but other than that, it's very comfortable on this particular ride. It's keeping good speed, 59 and 55. There's nobody around us, so it doesn't have any cars to reference, like in close proximity, basically. Let's see which turn it picks here on the left. There's cars in both lanes. It chooses the right lane. As you guys know, I'm not a big fan of the right lane. Let's see how it handles this turn here. I just really hope that when they update the hardware for vehicles to this 12.1, uh, 12.5.1.5, uh, uh, it's not gonna regress to this type of driving. Uh, we are driving on the white line here. Usually that doesn't happen. Just the dangerous driving here, way too close to that car. Looping around it. I would never drive like that. It's definitely way too assertive for my taste. Even though the settings are set chill for the drive and chill for um, acceleration. So it's, uh, 
It's definitely very assertive in like passing vehicles and stuff. Which I'm not used to. The hardware for it was definitely a very relaxed drive. We're coming up to railroad tracks here. Slowing down. That's a good speed. 25, 26 for the railroad tracks. Making a left turn here. Yeah, very unsure there. It was calculating whether it should make that turn or not. Gosh, uh, yeah. It needs to wait for those cars to pass a little bit more than, and then try to make the turn. Let's see how it handles this. Uh, it's a bit of a slowdown here at the railroad tracks. 26 miles an hour is pretty good. Seven and a thirty-five here. Yeah, so the version 12.5.1.5 on hardware three is definitely way more assertive than the hardware for hardware four version 12.5.1.3. It's uh, as you saw it, it passed that Jeep even though the Jeep was going straight. Um, it was not keeping a good distance in my opinion uh, i felt uncomfortable honestly um and uh yeah so i'm gonna do this run one more time so stay tuned for another video from me i'm gonna try to make sure that the store map goes the same route that we did before and check that it can actually uh take these exits that I need them to take on daily basis because I take those exits every day I drive. So um, I'm gonna check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell to be there for the next one. Take care of yourself, your family, and have a great day.